if we get multiple missions, what we can do is make sure we've got these all pulsed. Uh, what one did I just do? One and two. Right, that's all of them. Righto. We can crack all these. Yep, yep. New slave added. And then we will use the local command. What this command does is, um, if you want to see your own files, say that we've got something on here we want to remove, we try to list our files. We're getting the files of the um, the slave that we're logged into. So if we use the local command, we can write local space ls to list our own files, right? This is also useful. You can do this trick. Uh, local also, you can use dash l, but I'm that's right, local. We can use that to log in to an IP address while we are currently connected to someone. Uh, usually you cannot do this. Um, so this is a cool little trick to log into places really quickly. We can log into our first uh, mission, remove the file, and while that's removing, we can actually log into the second one. And this this process up here continues. And we can do this for... Oh, uh, all six of these, if you have six of them, we only have three, but you, you get the drift. Now you see something interesting happening up here in the in the CPU tasks. If we we did jobs before, didn't we? It was going to take thirty eight seconds. A, a typical um, remove or delete of a mission. Um, how it works is. The file generated is generated based off your level. So if you increase in level, the uh, the file increases, right? That's also another really good way to tell. If uh, there's a file on an NPC and it's big, there's a big player about to log into it, or at least someone with a high level. Um, but if we go to jobs now, we can see it's going to take 172 seconds to delete this. Because what happens is every time you stack these files, um, instead of the one remove, which would normally take about 72 seconds, regardless of CPU, it always takes 72 seconds to remove these mission files. Um, if you stack another one on top, I'm not sure if it, I'm not sure on the exact math, but it does make the first one slower. So imagine you've got 100 megahertz CPU and you're using that full 100 megahertz to delete that file, it's going to go uh, maximum speed. If you do two at once, it'll drop down to 50 megahertz, or three at once, 33.33 uh, .33 recurring megahertz. You get the idea. The more you stack, the slower these remove. However, once one is finished, it then reallocates all of your CPU power to the rest of them. And it's kind of weird. It doesn't make them quicker. It just gives them the time. Like if it was going to take 72 seconds and you've stacked two of them and they're nearly finished, they've got 10 seconds left, and you stack another one, it will double to 20 seconds. But after those 20 seconds, the third one will go back to requiring 72 seconds. I don't know if that makes sense. You'll, um, you'll see it when you remove them. Sort of when this one finishes, they'll all just finish because the 72 seconds has already been up for the other ones. I don't know. Yeah, you'll, you'll figure it out. But um, while we're doing this, we'll talk a little bit about, um, about these files here. Obviously, we're doing these missions to make money. And what do we need money for? We need money for hardware, right? We want to buy some nice big hardware and some hard drives. And... The way we protect those hard drives is with a, a firewall. So we want to get a firewall up pretty high, right? And to do that, we need to open up the forge. And in the forge, we can select our firewall. And with a with a C mod, we don't have. But in the inventory, I oh know this is a lot to take in 
But uh, in the inventory, we have these C mods and compilers. Don't worry about T15, they do nothing. But um, every, every C mod you get increases your software by 0 0.1 of a level. And the compilers are used when you get your software to 0 0.9. So to get every 10th upgrade, you need to use a compiler. And to get to that 0 0.9, you need a C mod. Now, if you're lucky, you can find legendary C mods. They increase your software by 0 0.9. So all you need is one legendary, then one compiler. One legendary a compiler, instead of nine of these and one compiler. But if your software is at 0 0.8 and you use a legendary, it will go to 0 0.9. It doesn't go past the 1.0 or 2.0 or 10.0, whatever it is. So make sure you only use your legendaries if you've got them when you're at zero, like 1.0, etc. Uh, and the way you get these C mods is by connecting to a NPC and writing scan. Oh, there we go. So we have one C mod. And these are randomly generated um, throughout the server. Every every server tick, there's a random chance. I think it's 2%, 3%, whatever it is. That a random NPC, there are, there are 50 NPCs. But every tick, there's a random chance that one of these random NPCs is going to generate one C mod or one compiler. Once you scan, you have to close your inventory, open it up. There we go, we have one C mod. So now we can select our firewall and use our C mod. Uh, the modifications does nothing. A lot of people ask about this. Modifications do nothing. Um, a feature yet to be added. Click on our firewall, click on our C mod and upgrade. Boom. Our firewall is now 0 0.2. And our C mod is gone. Um, and that is how we upgrade files and complete missions to get money. So now in order to finish these up, we need to obviously log back into the IP address that is as the removal and then uh, remove the file. Login local, login. Make sure you clear them logs, remove the file, remove that log. Uh, I should be doing a scan. Sorry, every, every time you do one of these missions and you log into one of these NPCs, you're doing a scan. We're doing a scan here to try to find these C mods so you can upgrade them files. Once you upgrade them files, put them in your fucking external. Keep them safe. And that is um, all about missions. And uh, also, remember, I'm really bad for this. Um, format your logs. You gotta keep those logs nice and formatted so if someone does log into you, they can't get your bank accounts and all that good stuff or your secret slaves that you have. And now it's just a matter of going through, accepting your missions. Boom, look at that. Completed 10 missions and we got an achievement and some reputation points. That is cool. Oh, and we leveled up. Fuck, we're doing so good. We got level four. Level four, we just got two levels. And we got four reputation getting level four cheers for that